how we can add random fractional numbers in Microsoft Excel. Let's say we want to add random fractional numbers in these selected cells. What we will do? Equal sign random function open parenthesis close parenthesis and then we will use shortcut key control plus enter to copy this formula in all these selected cells. So shortcut key control plus enter and here we have random fractional numbers in all these selected cells. How we can insert random numbers within a specific range? Let's say we want to add random numbers within a specific range in these selected cells. What we will do? We will use equal sign random between function. And now in this random between function, we will provide the biggest and the smallest value within which we want to get the random numbers. Let's say we want to get smallest value 100 and biggest value let's say 200. Between 100 and 200 we want to get random numbers. So we will use shortcut key control plus enter to copy this formula in all these selected cells. So control plus enter and here we go. You can see these are all random numbers but between 100 and 200. How to change grid line colors in Microsoft Excel or the color of these vertical and horizontal lines. How we can change this color in Microsoft Excel. To change color of these lines we need to go to file tab. In file tab we need to go to options. In options we need to go to advanced options here advanced and in advanced we need to go to the option display option for this worksheet. So here we have display option for this worksheet in this we have here down grid line color let's say we want to change color into red we will select red color we will go for ok and here you can see grid line color has been changed into red color how we can calculate hours worked in microsoft excel to calculate hours worked in microsoft excel we will use equal sign open parenthesis time out minus time in close parenthesis multiply by 24 and it will give you the hours worked between time out and time in how we can calculate hours worked without any error for example if we use basic formula open parenthesis time out minus time in close parenthesis multiply by 24 it will give you error how we know this for example you can see here time in is 5 22 pm and time out is 8 20 am so hours worked should be greater than 12 right but here is 9.03 only so meaning there is error in hours worked calculation so how we can remove this error or how we can calculate hours worked without any error for this we will use mod function open parenthesis time out minus time in comma 1 close parenthesis multiply by 24 and it will give you exactly hours worked without any error how we can add thumbs up and thumbs down in microsoft excel let's say we want to insert here thumbs up if marks are greater than 80 and thumbs down if marks are smaller than 80. What we will do equal sign if these marks are greater than 80 we want to insert here we want to get here C otherwise we want to get here D close parenthesis. We will just drag it down and then for here we will change here font wing dings we will insert this wing dings font here and you will see thumbs up and thumbs down. We can increase size let's say we want to change size into 48 and here we go thumbs up and thumbs down we have here. How we can get random text in Microsoft Word? To get random text we will insert equal sign R A N D open parenthesis close parenthesis enter and you will see it will give you random text. We can also get a specific number of paragraphs of random text. How we can get this equal sign R A N D open parenthesis let's say we want to get to only one paragraph of a random text one close parenthesis enter and you can see only one paragraph it will give you again let's say we want to get three paragraphs of random text how we can get this equal sign r a n d open parenthesis now we will write here three because we want to get three paragraphs of random text close parenthesis enter and here we go it will give you three paragraphs of random text